to hear the call of the match. Two dynasties on the brink of elimination. An international elimination match. Two juggernauts enter, but only one can make the playoff, Stumpy. Who's it going to be? Dazarin is going to be amazed with what I'm about to say. But NRG are the better team. NRG take it in this matchup. It's Vitality looking so shaky. It's very peak, not performing how he should be. And Alpha, he's going to struggle carrying them to victory. The general NRG, they are the stronger team in my opinion. I do think the cards are stacked against Vitality here. Just based off the strength of the performances that we've seen so far and already a shot coming out from NRG. They've had a, t they've had a tough run of Swiss as well. You, you, you don't go one and two in Swiss without having some problems, but Justin makes sure there's no problem on that goal. Immediately shouting nice as soon as that goal goes in as well. Justin starting off the scoring exactly how he wants to, but that mistouch from Fairy Peak that's the assist that they needed to send it in the back of the net. You know, NRG. Good goal to start things off, 17 seconds in. And Vitality, their last match against Era Eternity, it was a difficult one, Stumpy. They mm -hmm. had some struggles against them, and it looked at times like Era Eternity were going to take it and take them down then. But Alpha 54 and Fairy Peak able to put together some good sequences. KDOP was delivering balls to the back of the net. They're going to need that kind of team performance here against NRG. I mean, so many chances for Era Eternity to take it as well, Jorby, as you said. And Vitality, they squoze out a win. They managed to get it. That's the reason why they are here today. And they didn't join Tokyo Birdie down in that Norton 3. Vitality need to run off that confidence. Know that they can beat these South American teams that have dominated Ooh. previously. But squishy, right place, right time, goal number two. That was a tough one for Vitality to contend with. That's a perfect bounce for Squishy. And Alpha rushing back was hoping that Fairy Peak would get a decent clear out of it. But it kicked out right on the opposite side of Vitality's rotation. NRG took advantage. Vitality, two goals down inside one minute. And you do have to think about how Alpha is feeling on this team right now. Because although he's the only non-world champion on the pitch, he is the only one playing like it, I feel. He has been leading up at the top of the stats out of both of these teams. He's top of Vitality. He beats out NRG on so many vital statistics. Very peak, right at the bottom. k up somewhere in the middle of the pack. And despite the fact that Alpha has done those brilliant, brilliant performances, it just means that he is going to have to be carrying from the top. Garrett G getting three for North America. Well, Vitality lost a couple of wheels on this play. That ball bounced right over k Ops, uh, right off of his hood. And NRG coming out to a quick 3-0 lead. Vitality a little stunnier to start off. Not how you want to start if you're Vitality. Looking so flat, I feel, as well. NRG taking so much advantage of this game, having their space. The confident players like Garrett going for that dunk, you know, making sure he's in the right position to steal the ball away from Vitality as soon as they start to bear down on that blue net. They're starting as they mean to go on, and they are looking very mean. Justin, what a fake! My goodness, what a dominant start from NRG. Like you said, Justin starting off well. That punch from Kato, oh. he had to contend with Squishy, and the little stutter step from Justin to get NRG the fourth goal. He aimed for the ball, and yet the Vitality player flies into the corner. No contact on it whatsoever. Justin, we had so many questions about him, Jorby, whether this is going to be the series that he was going to be able to step it back up in. When he's on the line, that man is a beast. It felt like he started to figure it out versus Endpoint. And while they didn't win that match, that felt like the turning point for NRG. They weren't able to win it, but they were starting to put together those plays that you know NRG are capable of. And Justin, so many times, is at the head of that attack. Alpha missing this touch and Vitality. If you're going to get out the jitters and make the mistakes, at least it's in game one. And they have to stabilize, though, here about halfway through game one. Justin just gets a free look, and Alpha pitches it across. And you talk about Alpha and his significance to this Vitality roster. It's not just at the land that Alpha's been performing, but all fall he has been putting Vitality in a position to be in. <laughs> what does it matter? I mean, Justin just can't stop scoring. We've had half of the game. NRG dismantling Vitality. We normally save that call for game number five. If it's a 3-0, whatever. We're two and a half minutes in, Jorby. It's five goals. It's undeniably NRG's performance right now that is tearing through Vitality and smashing French hearts in half. A statement saying NRG are, are here to play, and the previous days of Swiss are not indicative of their future performance. A great start for the boys on the blue half. 
Fairy Peak tips this one up. And you're already thinking game, I mean, with two minutes left, you're already thinking NRG, this is the best position you could possibly be in. But if you're Vitality, how do you stop this attack? Gary G gets the sixth one. They're smashing them. What is happening? This is Vitality. This is the Season 8 World Championship Grand Finals. And this is the performance from NRG that they put up. It's just this time they don't have an opponent. <laughs> just, uh, I'm a little stunned. I, I thought, you know, this was going to be more of a battle to just from start to finish. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen when game two gets here, but game one is certainly it raises a couple of eyebrows. It makes you wonder what is going on with Vitality. KDOP puts that one close around. Fairy Peak puts that one close. Alpha comes across. Actually, it's KDOP and it bounces oh. off the post. That was a chance then for Vitality just to get a confidence goal. You know, they're not going to be getting six in one minute 40 to bring it even. That's going to be a near impossible task. But just to get one to start off that scoring and also to banish the thought that you're not going to get perfect swept by your biggest international rival. That would have been huge for Vitality. They just couldn't do it though. Yet again, it is NRG going for the push. At the back side of things though, Vitality looking somewhat more confident, a bit more stable after the first start to the game did go so heavily against them. They've started to just reinforce and make sure that they don't just get scored on over and over again. Great block by Garrett. Squishy to follow. With a minute left, we're already looking at game two. Though I'm still going to be a little worried for Vitality when they get back on the orange half. I felt like they've had some good progressions when they get to NRG territory, but then those 50s from Justin and, and just finding those holes. Vitality have to have some good defensive stops when NRG gets to the orange half. Here they come again. Squishy just punches it back. <laughs> they know they could just play with their food right now with 40 seconds left. It's just brutal. It's 6-0 this first game. This is how G2 were treating Tokyo Verde. Oh. That is how dominant they have been. It's how Dignitas were treating Tokyo Verde. It is Vitality so far behind that if this was a marathon, they still haven't entered. I feel like this is the NRG everybody expected at the start of the tournament. Well, they just come out and they be that number two international seed, but the number one North American seed. They haven't looked like it so far in this tournament, but this is the best that they've ever started so far in the fall major. Unbelievable beginnings for NRG where they needed to come out confidently and I've never seen a more confident start than that against a former world champion, against the only other world champions here in this tournament in Sweden, the general NRG kicking off this series by kicking Vitality hard. Well, the good news for Vitality is that uh, there's not much room to uh, fall from here. You know, only only going up, right, Stumpy? Six goals. I don't, I don't think NRG are going to get that many again against Vitality. I'd be amazed at this point, honestly, if Vitality got six goals in the series. Because <laughs> that is just... I can't believe how dominant that is. Justin getting a hat trick. And the hat trick between Gara and Squishy as well. Awesome, awesome beginnings for North America to, you know, have that feeling of hope. We can do this. NRG was one of the teams at the top where everyone thought, you know, that's how they performed at the beginning of this LAN. I'm happy they are finally doing it here. When their backs are against the wall, we see some teams crumble. We see some teams elevate themselves. And it's no surprise which one is which after game number one. Forbidden Temple has to have something a little bit different in the juice for Vitality. You just take out whatever, whatever wasn't working in game one. Whatever your mindset was, just a quick reset. It's five minutes, zero, zero. Those six goals aren't there anymore. And if Vitality start off strong, they could certainly flip the script. KDOP going to carry this one out and try to pinch it out. But that's just a free ball for Justin. Underneath, he's got the boost. He doesn't get the dunk. Slow ball here for Garrett. Wins that first 50, but can't work his way around KDOP. This is still NRG's ball, though. Off, here's Justin. <gasps> Forces the ball forward, but can't find the target. Miraculously, though, catches that ball going for the air dribble, making sure that he's showing off the confidence play. With one minute gone, NRG, maybe a little bit on the ropes. They've not scored just yet. Chance for Vitality to break out. But NRG are there again. They're going to need some consistent defense. NRG were able to score quickly and often in game number one. This time, it's a little more difficult to find the back of the net. Justin keeping this ball away and over to Squishy. And NRG are clicking like a well-oiled machine right now. Good demo on the back as well. Squishy onto Fairy Peak. And so far, it has been nothing but blue in that orange half. I mean, it finally, it enters into the blue half. Fairy Peak cutting it off at the halfway line too. 
We're going to need to see a couple of convincing shots come out from Vitality. Even if they don't go in, register them on the scoreboard. They did have quite a few in game number one. I think they had nine in total. It's just that the defense from NRG was holding so firm and Vitality saves were near non-existent. That first minute looked promising from Vitality in game one. They had good passes oh. in the attacking third and then this oh. just happens. A blunder from Vitality just to get to freebie. Heartbreaking if you're a Vitality fan watching that one roll so devastatingly close. But just in getting the dunk fairy pig watches it trickle into the orange net the dragons fly out they are not able to banish them game number one and we know vitality have been dealing with some issues fairy peak obviously with the illness issues and mm -hmm. that can absolutely affect your performance but they have to find a way to fight through that i don't want to use the illness either as an excuse but it is a reason because if you're feeling terrible when you're playing rocket league typically at home you can just turn off ranked. It's not a big issue. But if you've traveled here, you're challenging the other international competition, it's so hard to try and get past it. And I feel honestly dreadful for him that he feels physically sick. Like yeah. at this point, he said that he was having food poisoning problems. So it's rough. It's really, really harsh to deal with. But it's competition. Sometimes that happens. NRG, they have dealt with it regardless incredibly well. They still look like a strong team, even if Vitality are suffering from problems. Fairy Peak, quick shot. Justin has the save over to the corner. Vitality, an extended stint in the blue half. Can they convert? Alpha can't get the dunk against Justin. Fairy Peak will collect that corner boost again. Still locking NRG into the blue half, but very poised on defense. NRG haven't started sweating yet, but another quick shot, Justin and Squishy. They both commit. It's a free ball, but nobody from Vitality was able to follow up. Seeing a couple of passing plays. Caleb trying to find Alpha on that side wall. And a very nice shot on target. Justin managing to save it and pass it to a teammate in one fell swoop. Squishy at the other end. Forces Fairy into a very interesting looking Squishy save. I'm not sure where exactly he was seeing that one, but here's Garrett again. And Fairy Peak will get a solid clear out to midfield. Kadop continues to push. Justin responds with a boomer. Vitality having struggles now getting back to the blue half. After staying there for a little while, they really weren't able to get some quality opportunities. There's another one. Garrett is keeping them locked in. Kadop on the air dribble. Kadop in front of the box. Oh. Forces it out in front. And Garrett's first of the ball. Fairy Peak not wanting to overcommit. And Garrett racing towards the orange. Garrett misses oh. the ball. Justin swings back around and the play's dead for NRG. I love that idea from Garrett, though. Not having enough boost to go for the first shot. So goes for the pass to himself on the sidewall and then faking the shot. Brilliant ideas, ingenuity, and just so much confidence from NRG when they go on the attack. Big hit from Justin, forces Alpha into the defense. Alpha's up to the task, swings around one NRG attacker. Now on the attack himself, Kadop gets a big 50, and then Alpha gets bumped, and he bumps into Fairy Peak. It completely wrecks the Vitality rotation, but Fairy Peak comes right back in. Vitality have stabilized in front. Alpha, it passes in front of the box, a oh. risky pass to Kadop, and it's an open field for NRG. They're squishy, and it's taken out. Justin, a chance maybe on the double. Fairy Peak gets in front. It looked like a bit of a whiffed pass, but in the end, it falls to yet more NRG chances. Able to fly in. Garrett oh. with the backflip. Wide of the net, though. Final 20. Vitality yet to score in the series. Well, they haven't let five more go in. They still have yet to score a single goal in this series. Alpha pops this one up, but that's Squishy's ball. Justin's downfield. Fairy Peak cuts him off, and Squishy still pushing downfield. Kadop, one last chance, maybe. And Gary G cuts him off in midfield. NRG will not let Vitality breathe. Here comes Kadop again. Light touch to Alpha. He's going to play this one high. Alpha cannot beat Squishy to the ball. And NRG, one away from eliminating Vitality. I cannot overstate how much better that was from Vitality, though. They may not have had quite as many shots, only racking up six in total. But the fact they did not get 6-0, I'm going to count that as a positive. It's an improvement. It's so much of an improvement. Near infinite improvement, in fact. Only a one-goal lead for NRG, but going 2-0 in that series is so vital for NRG to just continue pushing. We heard in our headsets there was a scream from Captain America. He shouted, nice. They know that this is exactly the matchup they needed. It's how they are wanting to play this series as well. The smiles on their faces, Jorby, they tell such a story. Absolutely. They were not happy with their performance early on in this tournament. Let's go down to Orb for an update. Well, 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 Das, you've come to my neck of the woods. That's right. I hear you're coming to root for NRG. Is that right? That's absolutely right. Of course I'm here for NRG. Look, I was going to go on the stage, but security had to stop me. This is as far as I can go. Can't do that. 
So, you know, I had to join you here so you wouldn't feel lonely. Listen, I've been pulled away like four times. A couple of times I've snuck by, but listen, it's hard <laughs> security here at RLCS Fall Major. Um, I have a question for you. You want to call uh, call up your friend T. Bates? You want to have a conversation with him maybe about his prediction? Look, uh... I what happened with that prediction? He, he's not picking up the phone right now, okay? Envy lost, oh, it's this, G2 it's won. It's the American phone in, the sui in yeah, Sweden. Yeah, yeah, it's that a it? connection. It's not really that good. I don't got... Hey, when that happens. All right, so listen, how is Vitality going to going to win this? Uh, I'm flipping it. I'm flipping it on you. How is Vitality going to win this one? They're not. <laughs> I don't even know why you asked me that. Did you see that game not one? Even, Did you see that six score? I saw it. I saw it. The I general saw, energy's popping listen, up. Listen, have Vitality scored a goal yet? Listen, I'm compare to, game one and game two, though. Game one was yeah, that was like a. Just a that's stomp. true. Game two was definitely so a maybe lot Vitality's closer. finding their finding their. It, their thing. I can see that. I can see that. But backs against the wall. They lose one more. They're out of the tournament. We need to see something from them more. That is right. It is win or lose. Make it or break it. Guys, we're sending it back to you. Let's see how this all unfolds. Thank you, Orb. Thank you, Dazzlerin. That is just the biggest smile that I've seen on this face this entire day. Where <laughs> NRG, they are in the lead. We also have an update from the alternative stream over on twitch.tv slash RL Esports. Complexity currently leading 2-1 in that series. Make sure you've got both streams open. They are huge, huge results. We are looking at who goes out of the competition. They're seeing who survives and also who's going to be going through into round number five. Oh, complexity, what an incredible story they've had. And meanwhile, over here, NRG and Vitality, two stalwart teams, and it's oh. NRG putting it in the back of the net. Garrett G on top. The most animated man at the moment as he goes up from his own half Spends the boost, gains a goal from it. That's an investment that is going to pay dividends later on. And that has to feel gutting if you're Vitality. You know it's been difficult to score goals against this team. You haven't scored any yet. And Vitality, to let that ball go in at the start of the game, that's not going to do anything for your mental. Squishy tried to get that shot, and Fairy Peak cuts in front of it. Garrett in front of it again. Fairy Peak, it's a good cutoff. And a good 50 as well, but Vitality, there's no immediate follow-up ready. They gotta wait for Squishy. He pops it over Kadop, forces Alpha to make the play. Squishy again in front of the box. He's got Justin, and he squeezes it through three defenders. NRG just keeps scoring. 2-0, minute one, and it's just an error from Fairy Pig. Starts to go for the ball and then decides not to. Threading that needle through Vitality with just a touch on the bumper from the defender. NRG, they are looking on track with four minutes left to perfect sweep their biggest rivals. And if NRG do take this, they're not out of the Swiss abyss. They got to go to round five. But what a statement you make. If you can close this game out right here, you all of a sudden turn into one of the strongest threats heading into the final round of Swiss. It's Justin again popping it up into the corner. But nobody's ready for NRG. They'll happily wait here in midfield. Justin just sitting up in the orange half. He keeps winning these touches, and until he starts losing them, he might not leave. Touch out for Kadop. Vitality. Keep looking for an angle out, but NRG just swarm on the rotation. And when you think Vitality might find an opening, might find a clear, they, NRG are able to adapt and just swing back around and cut it off in midfield. There's been a couple of chances for Vitality to work their way out of the defense, but as soon as NRG link in the midfield, they are putting Vitality straight back into the orange side of the pitch. Justin on the right side is going to find a teammate, but nobody's there. Look at two players from Vitality respecting Justin to go for something magical. Instead, it may well be down to Garrett G. Vitality's defense holding, but they really need more offense. That's a powerful musty from Justin. And it's a free ball for Squishy. Vitality just waiting for these NRG touches. Just playing pure reactionary Rocket League on the orange half, all low on boost. They're on small pad a game right now, and they just can't find a way out. Here's Squishy, passes it out to Justin. And Vitality, again, having to adjust for Justin's touch. He gets right over Fairy Peak and wins another 50 against Kadon. It's just defense that Vitality are having to put on. I can't see anything, any hope. For Vitality at this point, as NRG continue to barrel down, continue to smash them at every single juncture of this game. 50s going consistently the way of the North Americans. A save flying high of the net from Garrett G. The bump from Alpha failing. It's just 
Nothing is going the way of the Frenchman. I, it, you can't just have one thing go right when everything has gone wrong for Vitality. You need more than just the bump. You need to win about two or three more 50s after that to get by this whole NRG team. They haven't felt the pressure from Vitality, and they feel full, in full control of the game, and it's so hard to break through a team when they're playing as dominantly as NRG are. Justin pushes this one out to the corner. It's a chance for Vitality to just now save their pride. That's all they're concerned about. It's they need a goal. They've not scored. I really can't say that enough because this is NRG putting everything on net. Garrett Ooh. again just about misses the double with Justin shooting. Very big force to play off the crossbar to get the block away again on the backboard. 80 seconds. Vitality. They are nearing a result that they didn't dream happen. The RLCSX champions on the verge of elimination. With just a minute to go, they have yet to score a goal. Update elsewhere. Complexity have taken down Semper and they move to the playoffs. Big win for Complexity. NRG trying to cap off their victory to get to round five. Squarely in their control, Justin pushes this one out downfield. Alpha demoing an NRG player, Garrett G. And just nothing again. Midfield's cut off. And Stumpy, there's just nothing working. There's a touch from Kadop, but the rotation is just too slow for Vitality. They can't get a single follow-up to go in their favor. NRG looks so alive right now, and yet they could be playing half dead and they'd still be smashing Vitality. It is a chance for NRG to show the dominance that they have been able to give to North America throughout the entire season. NRG have come to Sweden and they are now showing off what they can do. With their backs against the line, they are destroying Vitality. The energy is high for NRG. 10 seconds left and it feels like it might be oh! a victory lap. And that's just the exclamation point on top of an incredible performance. A perfect sweep for NRG. Nobody expected that to happen. Nobody saw this matchup and thought it would be anything less than brilliant from both sides. With everything on the line, NRG were the only team with any amount of pressure that they could deliver and they have utterly dismantled Vitality.